Hi, I'm Dave Darlington, and welcome to this deep dive video about the newly reimagined Studio Rack, the Waves plug-in chainer. I hope you had a chance to watch the introductory video that I made where I just take you around the plug-in and show you what you can do with it and how it might streamline and uh, enhance your mix flow. But today, let's concentrate on one of the three new modules in Studio Rack, the Parallel Split. For those of you who may be just starting out engineering or uh, have a hard time understanding parallel, you're probably already doing it. If you're sending one of your sounds like a guitar or a vocal to a reverb and then bringing that reverb back up on an aux fader, you're actually doing parallel processing. So this is what we mean, that the processes run alongside each other and are blended into the mix. Today, I wanna to show you some things I was doing to my drum bus. I go to this parallel split right here. So we have four modules, and you can turn them on and off right here, one by one. And you can see I have the main drums coming through unprocessed. And then next thing I do is I have a parallel compressor. In this case, I chose an API, which is very aggressive and has a lot of character, so you can really hear what it's doing. Then I have two different kinds of reverb here. I have a, a gated room with uh, some H-verb followed by a C1 gate for those little short bursts. And then I have a more cavernous verb like a rock room. So let me play a little bit of the drums and show you what they sound like without the parallel processing. Okay, pretty good drum sounds. Those are samples that appropriate to the style of music that we're doing. Let's listen to the compressed version and watch the compressor. So I'm gonna turn off the main so we can just hear the compression. So you, you can hear that spitty sound and that really tight, ugh, super squashed sound. So we can blend that in to the main by using this volume macro that I made right here. I hope you can hear that why I called it punch, because as I bring that compressed sound up into the open sound of the drums, we get a much tighter, aggressive uh, feeling on the drums. Secondly, we have the gated reverb. Let's listen to that by itself. So that's just an H verb, a kind of medium to short room to give it a little oomph, oomph, chesty burst. Then that's followed by a C1 gate, which is closing the threshold as soon as it decays. And we can watch that work really quickly. And I control the length of the ah sound by opening the gate a little more, closing it a little more. When you, when you mix that in with the main, Especially on the tom fill, you can hear that that's a nice, aggressive rock drum sound. Finally, if you wanted to have a more of a stairwell or big stage kind of vibe, I picked one of Manny's largest halls, and that sounds great too. Let's put the gate down and listen to just the arena by itself. So there's your Madison Square Garden vibe. So you can just make a blend of all these different things or even add your own as you imagine. Put the drums back on, some punch, a little bit of gate, and a good dose of arena. So finally, after the parallel split further down in the chain, what Studio Rack is doing is then summing all those parallels back together and continuing on down the chain. And I just put a limiter after that to make sure everything stays uh, below overload on the fader itself. So that's parallel uh, processing in a nutshell. And of course, you can have as many of these in the chain as you want. You can offload the processing to SoundGrid server by clicking right here. And that would, that would move the processing of the plugins off of your native CPU onto the Waves uh, SoundGrid server. Of course, this is totally optional. You can run it native as I'm doing here, but that's another good thing to know if you have a lot of plugins running heavily 
And uh, the possibilities are really endless. So we're gonna have another couple of deep dive videos coming up soon with the uh, macros and the multiband. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something from it.